done jacked the back of this wig up so bad. Y'all were mad with me, honey. Y'all just wanted to take me. Flip me over on y'all thigh and spank my honey. Y'all were upset, girl. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to yet another hair vlog. I have not done a hair vlog, which feels like in forever i was just laying in bed i knew i had this video scheduled to do today but i was like i'm not really in no professional mood today i'm just being honest i don't know about y'all but every day is not a very good work day for me so i decided to just sit back and just chill and keep it really really casual with y'all as you guys watch me install my nadula hair now listen i got this monkey on my back i gotta say it i got to say it all right um my last video um y'all was mad at me <laughs> y'all were so mad at me um in my instagram dms y'all were mad with me honey y'all just wanted to take me flip me over on y'all thigh and spank my hiney y'all were upset girl i did not talk at all in my last video and i want to explain those types of videos are going to be implemented in my channel every now and then i'm not gonna want to talk or want to speak and also if you guys if you guys are old subscribers if you guys been rock with me for a while then you guys know i used to do makeup tutorials and other hair videos like that as well but I would call them I just want the beat the hashtag IJWB and those would be videos where you're just enjoying music and just enjoying the vibe of me doing my hair now those videos are going to be implemented in my channel okay so when you guys see the hashtag the I just want the beat hashtag just know it's gonna be a video with no talking just me enjoying doing my hair vibing to some music and having a nice little time just then you guys know those videos are here to stay. <laughs> we do have a hair vlog today. I know what's in this bag. You guys are gonna love what's in this bag because it's kinda gonna redeem myself, if you will, for last week's video. Let me prop you guys up so that y'all can see. Let's see, can it be cricket this way? Woo, woo, oh, look at this thing, child. The hair is from Nadula Hair. I'm gonna put it out there up front. It's a burgundy number, okay? I had to redeem myself. I don't like going out like a wimp. Even though I had a method to my madness, Okay, <sighs> I gotta redeem myself. Now the hair in the last video was slate. Okay, it was real nice. Y'all did like the style. Is it 24 inches? I don't be knowing how to read these barcodes. It's say BG24, but I don't know if that means that it's 24 inches or... This is pretty much the exact same wig from last week's video. We still have a closure piece. You still have that fake scalp fabric on the inside. I envisioned a bob. I got a great idea from one of my babies, one of my Beehive, Beehive gang, gang members. members. You know who you are, me and you talk through Instagram, and I mentioned to you that I thought about putting this wig into a bob, and you gave me the green light, girl. Today, we're gonna try to make this closure wig into a burgundy baddie Pop. I feel like being a baddie today, even if for a day, because after today, the bonnet goes back on and the carriage turns back into a pumpkin. What's popping? I'm already getting some light, light shedding. Not really much. This is like two strands. Y'all can even see it. The hair is pretty thick, okay? This is the ponytail test. The hair is pretty thick, but the closer you get to the ends, of course, as with all wigs, you're gonna get a little bit more of a thinness, a little bit more of a lightness. It's not gonna really matter much to me because I'm gonna cut this anyway. I know what I'm gonna do. So this has three combs, one on each side, and then one in the back. We are going to travel, migrate, if you will, back to my um, office, my beauty room, my filming room, whatever you want to call it. Let's go back here and see what we can do. All right, boom. The lighting may be a little wonky because I'm just using, oh, I'm breathing hard. I'm just using my window. I already got my wig cap and stuff prepped under here. Tighten up my straps in the back because y'all know I got a small head that's not up. For debate. I had to tighten up my strap real far so that way when I put this on my head, honey. Ooh, that's a little bit too tight, but guess what? We gonna roll with it. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let me shift. Ooh, baby, baby when I say sis is tagged, sis is on. A little bit more over because I want to have more lace so that I can play with for my baby hair.
It's gonna look a little stupid right now, but I'm trying to see if the vision will come together at least. All I really did was, you know, shift the wig to the side and then I just tucked the rest behind my ear and I pulled out some right here. I'm gonna pull out some more later on once I actually go to styling and stuff. I'm not sure if I should roughly straighten it first to see where I'm gonna cut it or if I should roughly try to flatten the top first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to flatten the top. I think it's because I don't have makeup on, so it's kind of throwing me off. I don't know how this is going to turn out looking. Uh, only part that's kind of giving me a little throat off is how I'm going to do this baby hair. Because if the side of where my hair is going to be exposed does not look good, it's going to be a bad day. Go ahead and get to cutting. Let's try right here. Mmm, right here. the back of this wig up so bad <laughs> I can look at that to jack that up so I'm gonna take this off the best way that I can and try to put her on this mannequin This wig don't put me through it. Now I don't got it as straight as I could possibly get it besides that little piece right there, but it's gonna have to just stay. This is as close as I can get it. Everything is of the same denomination. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, my back hurt, I'm bending all down, my legs hurt. I'm gonna take me a nap and we're gonna come back to this once I done recharged, all right? So it's the next day and I have not done anything. I done took a nap that turned into me hibernating and now it's the next day. I've already done my makeup. Um, I haven't added my lip nor my lashes yet, but I'm ready for this wig on right now. Matter of fact, let's put these lashes on first and then we'll get to the hair. Much better. Now let's go.
All right, you guys, this is the finished look of the wig, of the install, everything. I like this color. I love how everything came out, but I do have a few things I want to say. First thing I want to say is, it feels so good to be back. Is my nipple showing? Nope. <laughs> like I got some titties today. It feels so good to be back in the judge's corner. I have not been here in so long. We have to start bringing this back. Being in front of my window, in my bed, just having the aesthetics just popping, you know, just just kicking it back old school. I just miss these type of, I just miss these type of sit down, chill hair vlogs. Like, what's, I'm, I'm having nostalgia right now. As y'all do know, this hair is from Nadula Hair. I did do a 99J closure wig in the past, maybe like two weeks ago or a week ago. Um, honestly, this is not any different. Just the same, this is a closure wig, a four by four. This hair did come to me really long as y'all saw in the beginning of the hair vlog. I did cut it because I wanted something more of a bob. Shout out to you boo that told me this is gonna be a wonderful idea and I completely agree. This was a great choice, I love this bob. This hair is 150% density. It's definitely true to density. Now, once you cut this hair, it's going to be a whole lot thicker. I preach that in pretty much every video. I always cut my ends or trim my hair in some type of way. You are going to have some extra thickness once this hair is trimmed or cut. This hair was not thin by any means, but the ends were a little bit lighter, so I would have had to cut it either way. But I just did the extra while and just, you know, chopped everything off, you feel me? I did not wash this hair, bleach any knots, anything like that, only because this unit is a fake scalp. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm gonna be blood raw, y'all know me, I'm gonna be real with y'all no matter what. I hate this fake scalp. I I hate it because if I was able to customize the front of my lace by plucking, adding my real regular baby hairs, this install would have been way more bomb than what it is right now. I could have really like freaked this, finessed this, but with this piece of fabric and stuff in the way, it, it, I feel, a, I feel, I feel a way and it's bothering my spirit. You can definitely see a line of demarcation. I did add some powder to kind of make the part look more prominent, but besides that, you could still see, you could still see the fabric before I even added that powder. I don't know if there's a way to cut out that fake scalp. If there is, I may end up doing that. I've had a fake scalp before in the past and it was not as close up to the hairline as this was. That's probably the issue. The fake scalp is way too close to the front of the hairline. It should have been pushed back just a little bit so that way I could have a little bit more of a skin type look rather than just this tan demarcation line, you feel me? That is my only issue. The hair is amazing. I'm getting all types of flowage. I'm getting all types of body. You know, this is colored hair. I'm definitely getting shine. Another thing that I also have like a little small little qualm with is the fact that even though this is a four by four closure fake scalp unit, you're not given the full four by four parting space of lace. You are given just this little sliver right here where the part is. And then the rest of the inches of parting space that you are given is track. It's track sewn onto the lace and sewed onto the fake scalp. You aren't really allowed to curve your part, anything like that, which is why I do also feel as if my part isn't looking the best because I was not able to part my own hair. But once again, that's not a hair quality issue. It's just a little bit of a a style issue. This wig is tailored to a certain audience. If you are one that always sticks to a middle part, which is me, I just did the style to switch up the video, this wig would be perfect for you. Keeping your middle part and that's just it. There's no having to redefine anything. You are a side part wear. It is possible, hence what I have right now, but just know you're gonna have a straight part which is not very, it's not very realistic looking because I'm gonna be honest, the hair, the style looks nice, but my part and where the fake scalp starts is making me look very wiggy. But other than that, I say the hair looks bomb. The style looks bomb nevertheless. I look bomb nevertheless. It's just a fake scalp. That's pretty much it. But nevertheless, Nadula hair, y'all did that once again. A big thank you does go out to the Doula Hair for sponsoring today's video. I am in love with this unit. Thank you guys so much for partnering up with me for today's look. If you guys enjoyed today's hair vlog, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Bougie, Bougie over, over here, here do you understand, you understand me? I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. I mean, what? And also while you're doing 
that. You guys can also follow my business page Instagram, The Hive and Co. For all of your lip gloss and lashes needs, your girl got you. I mean, I plug everything else, might as well plug myself, right? The lashes that I am wearing today are in the style Tiffany, as well as my lip gloss. My lip gloss, I am wearing toppy, of course, with a brown lip liner. You already know how your girl do. We're gonna be having some new additions to this site as well very, very soon. Oh, and also my necklace. My Louis Vuitton inspired necklace. This necklace on the site as well as the matching charm bracelet. I will leave the links down below as well as my Instagram for my business page down below. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may too. But you never let it fall. Stay gilded.